victims of this. Cumberland Colchester. You're here. Mr. Speaker, last year an all-party parla- all parliamentary committee urged the Prime Minister to promise he wouldn't call an election. In fact, at that time, the Prime Minister himself said he had no interest in calling an election during the pandemic. Canadians were misled. Instead of prioritizing the health and safety of Canadians, he forced an election. This begs the question, why did the Prime Minister jeopardize the health of Canadians to save his own job? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, in that election, Canada had an extremely important conversation about how to move forward through this pandemic. And partially because of the clear answers... I'm sorry, I'm going to have to interrupt the Honourable... Uh, the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, The Honourable Member for Cumberland, Colchester, asked a question, and I'm sure he can't hear the answer with all the shouting going on around him. So I'm just going to ask everyone to tone down so that the Honourable Member for Cumberland, Colchester, can hear the answer. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, in the last election, Canadians were presented with a very clear choice of moving forward uh, with strong vaccination policies that would ensure Canadians were safe, or the Conservative proposal uh, to not really step up on vaccination, not even ensure that all of their members uh, were vaccinated uh, as MPs, uh, and not the kind of leadership on science they wanted. Canadians made a very clear choice to choose and vote for parties that supported vaccine mandates, and that's exactly what has gotten us through this pandemic to this point, with lower death rates than other countries around the world, despite all the tragedies we have faced. Honourable Member for Cumberland, Colchester. Mr. Speaker, sadly what we ended up with is seeds of division having been sowed and Canadians suffering. We've suffered financially, socially, morally, mentally and physically. And according to the Misery Index, we are a very miserable nation. Shame. For almost two years now, Canadians have borne the yoke of loss, uncertainty and lack of hope. The backs of Canadians are about to break. Canadians are miserable because of the Prime Minister. We want to know on what date the mandates will end. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Again, we see the Conservatives are willing to twist the facts to their own partisan ends. The reality is vaccine mandates and the fact that Canadians stepped up to get vaccinated to almost 90% ensured that this pandemic didn't hit as hard here in Canada as elsewhere around the world. We stayed focused on following the science, on uh, promoting public health rules, and Canadians stepped up in their communities. They stepped up for their frontline health workers. They stepped up for each other. And Canada has been never been so strong and together as we are now.